Good evening, everybody, and welcome along to this webinar on Estimator Express 2023. My name is Jim Pizzi, and I'm the technical director here at HBXL. Um, so I have been working, I spend a lot of my time developing Estimator Express, and I've been working on this along with uh, my colleague Andy, uh, with, a, with a two that have been working on it mainly. Um, so I'm going to be talking you through the the large change in this, um, as I'm sure you've seen through the emails and probably heard speaking to people in support. And the sales team is what we sort of refer to as universal walls. So they're basically much more flexible options for walls to, to allow you to, uh, to really alter the wall to price up for exactly what you need to for a, a variety of different uh, technologies. So let's jump straight in and, and there's, a, there's a number of other changes that I'm going to touch upon that we've made for, for this version um, and probably a few more that I've forgotten that I've done. So uh, I, will, uh, I will certainly talk you through the ones that I, that I remember. Um, just, uh, just before we do get started, the the software that we're using this this go to webinar you should have a have a chat window and an option to to send in questions so i'm sure you will have have questions as i'm going through please do fire them at me and at, and at certain points i'll i'll look over and and try to answer any if i if i haven't um haven't got over that by the time that i read it um, otherwise, at the end, there'll be a there'll be a chance for any 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 questions, and I'll I'll um yeah talk you through any of those points because I'm sure if you have a question, then everybody else sat there at, at their home will have this will probably be thinking the same thing. So please do uh please do shout up if I'm uh, if I don't explain something. Um, okay, so I'm going to jump in and just create a new job. And the first thing you'll notice is that we've removed one of the options um, to create a new job. So in 2022 and before, we had two different options to, to use a, a quote template. We had uh, standard templates and custom templates. And I think that that caused, caused some confusion, especially for new users. Um, so we've just moved them all in together. So if I click on the quote for job template, then you'll see at the top there, we've got the four, what were custom templates there. Um, and then the, and then the other sort of standard templates, the extensions, the new build, the garages and so on. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just going to pick a simple, a simple job. I'm not, I'm not going to be concentrating on on entering all the, all the dimensions and doing anything too complicated. So I'm just going to pick a, a simple Apex Truth for single store extension and I'm going to, I'm going to focus more on the, <coughs> the, the changes to um, standard quote templates that you'll see in this new version. So for this job wizard, what I will do is um, I'm going to change the specification to the extension site fabricated timber frame spec um, and this is because pricing up for a site fabricated timber frame is a lot easier than it has been previously so previously as i'm as i'm sure you'll know um you had to pick a site fabricated timber frame spec whether it was an extension or a new build you had to price up for the walls and then you had to also find and price up for the timber frame panels and then if it was a if it was a clad wall you then had to to sort of um do some, jump jump through a few more hoops to to allow allow for the cladding so it's it, it's really that that sort of difficulty um that sort of led us down this route of saying right we need a we need a rethink on on, on walls in general they need to be a lot more flexible so that people can easily put together the the type of wall that they need quickly, easily, and and move on. Um, so I'm going to pick the 
the extension site fabric coated timber frame spec and I'll, and I'll show you how how that operates now um one brief note on this the walls don't actually use the specifications themselves anymore um so as you'll see in a minute when we each wall has a has a a lot of different wall spec options um to choose from and then you can drill down in into in uh, at, at different levels and and uh edit things through different option drop downs which again i'll i'll show you the one thing that this that this will do though um is that when i get into my quote template it will have pre-selected um so i had the i had the brick texture selected on the, on the previous screen so it'll be a brick and site fabricated timber frame wall that it will default to and then my i don't know my internal cavity wall will be a um a party timber frame wall so it is it, just making making sure that this this the the default selections of the different walls within the quote template are going to be relevant to the specification you choose so um that that again is is, is something um something a bit new the one thing that will impact on the on the new walls is if you if you pick a a specification with a brick wall it will uh look at the external wall brickwork mini spec that you select so i'm going to pick a one pound 40 brick um and incidentally the the default brick specified within the specifications that we ship um for 2023 will be a a one pound 20 brick i think previously it's been an atp brick so yeah we've we've moved that move that up to a to one that's more realistic to what you'll what you'll be paying. So I will create my job. Okay. So, like I say, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna focus on 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 the dimensions at this point. Nothing's nothing's changed at the at the, the top point and the actual the actual um different templates that you can do for for different styles of extensions or, or houses um down in in this section though we do have a, a couple of new options um and you'll see that we have options to add parapets to our walls so parapets is is one of the new features within the walls so i'm going to add them to my job so I'm going to say that I've got parapets to the eaves and I'll set that at 500 mil and I'll do the same thing for the gables. So I'll add parapets to the gables and again, I'll set those to 500 mil. So the, uh, the image at the top isn't, isn't going to change, but, uh, I'm sure you'll, you can all imagine what, what, what that will look like. Um, so I'll scroll down and then where we get to the external walls um, and I'll click on the drop down and we can see there are a lot more options now. Um, so I'll, I'll just make that box a bit bigger. So yeah, it's a, as a rather long list of, of all sorts of different wall specs. Now, let me just go into the, into the filter box for the, for the wall type and I'll just, show you through all the different ones that, that we've got now. So um, obviously brick and block cavity wall, uh, brick and brick cavity wall, brick and ICF, brick and SIPS panel, uh, brick and timber frame, which is the one that, that we're going to be using today. Um, a brick outbuilding. So that's a, a, a solid brick wall with the, with, with piers. Um, and no no internal finishes uh block and block cavity oh sorry a clad block and block cavity wall so they, these are into the clad walls now clad single skin block wall clad sips clad timber frame wall uh and then we get into the into the render walls so again block and block block and sips block and timber frame uh block out building and then 
rendered block solid. So the so the block block out build, building, as I said, that's uh, that's not going to be internally finished. It's not going to be insulated. Uh, but the rendered block solid, if I just tick that, you'll see on the right here. So these are going to be uh, a rendered single skin block wall with external insulation. Um, so that's what the that's what it that's what it's getting at with the with the block solid. Um, and we've got rendered ICF walls, rendered SIPs, rendered timber frame. And then we have some stone walls, stone and block, stone and ICF, stone and sips, stone and timber frame, and finally stone clad. So stone clad block and block cavity or stone clad outbuilding. Um, and you can see at the top there there are 291 different different specifications to to choose from. So that's a combination of of single leaf and, and two leaf. Uh, external walls. So I am doing a brick and timber frame. So I'm going to tick that and it will just filter that list down. Um, and then also the build type. So, so as I say, the specification doesn't, doesn't feed in to the new walls. Um, so we've got options in the list for both new build or the extension and renovation. So I'm going to filter that to the extension and renovation walls. So that's that's got the list down to 16. Um, so the next and, and and then there are there are a few different options within this list now. So we've got um, the top here, the the top half of them. So brick and timber frame brackets subcontract supply. So that is for if you've got a timber frame kit. Um, that you're that you're going to enter a subcontract quote in for timber frame kit, um, and if you're going to construct it yourself, I'll show you in a minute when we go into the Dims Wizard. There are also options for if it's a if the subcontractor is supplying and and erecting the timber frame. Um, there's a there's a different option for that, and then the bottom half are the the site fabricated timber frames. So I'm interested in those. Uh, then we've got differences between uh, garage walls and standard walls. So, so the garage walls probably going to have less insulation, won't be internally finished. Um, and then of the of the bottom, so I want it for my extension. So I'm going to ignore the garage walls. And then of the bottom four, you'll see we've got one for a raft foundation and one for strip foundation. So raft foundations is is something that is new for again for Estimate Express 2023. So we didn't have whilst we did have the estimating calculator for a raft foundation, what we didn't have is um, is a, the option of a raft foundation through a quote template. So it was only if you estimated more manually in a in a custom quote template that you could that you could use the raft. So that's that's now an option. And I'll 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 pick that one. Um, but the uh, and then just the other options are with a with a stone plinth. Um, so so again, something else that's new new to the walls is that you can have a plinth. So you can have parapets. You can have plinths. Um, yeah, and both both of those are uh, are new new options for you when required. So I'm going to take the brick and timber frame for a raft foundation with the extent for, for an extension or renovation job. OK, so I'm going to click on the DIMS was a button uh, just to show you what a wall DIMS wizard looks like. Okay, so the the wall dims wizard um, has, has loaded up. The first page is is the the specification choices. So whilst you've got that one overall pick of the brick and timber frame uh, wall, that that is then a, a collection of all these different options 
and they can all be fine tuned by yourselves. And I'll I'll go through, I'll show you the different options in the in the lesson. We'll we'll talk those through now. Um, <coughs> the um, just a quick quick note: this drop down at the top hasn't got anything selected in it for the for this particular wall, so it isn't showing me that that brick and timber frame wall that I that I've previously selected. And that's the reason for that is that it's it's actually adjusted. It's taken that as the base, but then it's overlaid on top of that my one pound forty facing brick that I picked in my mini spec. So it's yeah, if you it's a, it's applying that over the top. Um, so it's it's taking taking the base and then adjusting. So I've got the one pound forty facing brick for my outer leaf, and also if I just scroll down. There's one option down here, masonry below DPC outer leaf, and it's also uh, specifying that that within there. Okay, so for a start, um, I'm just going to untick this show not required mini specs, and it will just compact the list down to what is specified, um, and we'll just just go through those for a start. Okay, so the outer leaf. Um, We've got a list of different options that you could change it to. So you've got all the different bricks, um, facing bricks, reclaim facing bricks for new build and for extensions and renovations. Uh, then you've got different blocks, um, so aerated, dense, different thicknesses, uh, dense blocks laid flat, dense hollow blocks, uh, a load more brick options and then at the bottom we've got some stone facing um yeah di different different options for for stone stone facing there um so yeah i i could i could change this wall just by selecting one of these and it would and it would then price up for for stonework facing instead of um instead of that that brick so I guess it's, it's worth explaining at, at this point that there are actually four new wall estimating calculators. So we have a, a two leaf external wall, which is what this wall is. We've got a single leaf external wall, and then we've got a two leaf internal wall and a single leaf internal wall. So within this, two leaf external wall um we've got all the different options for for that uh brick and block brick and icf brick and sips brick and timber frame uh you know and, and so on and so on all, all the all, all the different cavity wall types that i that i talked you through on the previous screen so you can you can change this wall to to suit suit your needs just by changing the the specification within the drop downs there so that was the outer leaf cavity. Obviously, lots of different cavity options for for different wall types, but we've got the the 50 mil timber frame or or sips wall cavity selected. Uh, the inner leaf. We've obviously got the the timber frame panel that we're pricing up. So. And you'll see here we've got that same 150 til timber frame panel as a subcontract supply only and a subcontract supply and a rec. So that that was where I was saying if you're if you're using the the um, if you're using a kit, you would have selected the timber frame specification rather than the site fabricated timber frame spec when you were creating the job, um, and that would that would then default to the um, subcontract supply only. But if you need to change it to a supply and erect, this is this is where you do it. It's in this drop down. You just you just select that as an option. Uh, internal finishes. So lots of different options again: double and single layer plasterboard and insulated boarding, uh, tile backerboard. And then various different wet plastering options. So change that as required. Internal decoration, not a lot to see here. Um, just a, 
one for a new build and one for an extension or a renovation that will allow, allow a bit more time per square meter for those tasks. Um, then we've got the next three are, are op options are, are around the parapets. So what is the internal finish of the parapet? Uh, what is the inner leaf of the parapet made out of? And what sort of capping do you want on your parapet? So we've got concrete and stone and aluminium options for the parapet capping. Um, the skirting boards are, are specified, and you can uh, you can pick how you're gonna how you're gonna attach those. Not gonna make a tremendous amount of difference to your uh, to your price, but uh, hopefully we've we've got the right one selected for the different wall types. You don't have to think about that. Um, and then the masonry below DPC and the the DPC. So we because I picked a raft foundation I don't have anything specified for the um, for the foundations and and other below DPC options so I'll now I'll now tick the not required ones and I'll just show you all the other options that, that, that there are to allow so if you required external decoration so for other wall types that will be specified. So you've got options for um, paintwork to cladding or heavily or standard amounts of textured masonry slash render. Uh, and then a, a timber treatment to cladding option. If you need to externally insulate the wall, there are various options for those. the uh so we've been through those internal parge coat so um yeah you can allow for 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 a parge coat to the internal leaf now we have specified this i think i'm right in saying uh we we've specified this for all of the whenever we've got an external wall with a with a block internal leaf so so the the brick and block cavity wall um, and this is this is the biggest difference, I think, from the from the existing software to the to the new. You know, generally the brick and block cavity wall is going to be the same as it was before, but we have we are allowing for an internal parge coat. Um, and the reason behind that is that uh, Andy, my 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 colleague who who deals with the actual um, picking the specifications and the and the technology side. Um, it's his view that it that it would be very hard to meet the current building regs for um, air transmittance. I think I've probably said that wrong, but the uh, the the flow the, the flow of air threes he says it'd be very hard to to meet the meet that without without doing a parge coat in his opinion. So yeah, we're we're specifying one by default you can come in here and not require it if you don't want to allow for it. Um, if you need internal insulation, you've got the option to, to add, add a layer of internal insulation there. Um, as I think I mentioned, you've got the option for a plinth. So you could decide to have a, uh, a brick plinth um, or a stone facing or stone cladding for your plinth. And then the the inner layer, so you could so if you've got a if you've got a brick wall behind the plinth, you probably want to change that to to block work because there's no point building it out of bricks that aren't going to be seen. Um, so you can change that the yeah the inner layer of the plinth or the outer layer of the wall as it as it were um to to uh to blocks <coughs> and then put your bricks or your or your stone plinth on the on the outer layer um the within the parapet section there was a there's an inner decoration which is set to not required um this is specifying a, a silicon 
render on cement boards. So with the silicon render, we're not decorating those. But if if it was if we changed that to a to you know a traditional sand and cement render, then then there would be would be decoration that we'd be using on that. Um, the okay, so the the extras section. So I will I will um, select these so that I can show you. Um, so the idea is um, if you have so we have a wall that is uh, brick and timber frame. So we're so, so the outside is brick. So if you had an area of I don't know some sort some sort of cladding. So you generally had a brick wall, but I don't know. Let's pick. Uh, so I want an area of sheet metal cladding, for example. So I'm going to pick that as my ex alternative external finish. So, and you'll see at the top here, a new tab has appeared for alternative external finish. So basically, we're going to get to say that these walls are, you know, of my building. They're, I've got, what is it? Probably about 12 meter long, long walls, a couple of meters high with a, with a gable. So that's the size of my walls. But then I've got this one area of, of cladding that's, that's different. So it, that, that's what it's going to allow you to do. And behind my, my, my cladding, I'm not going to have brickwork. I'm going to say, uh, let's find a block. So I'm just going to type block into the search panel. Uh, so I will stick a 100 mil dense block behind there. Um, similarly, you can do the same thing for the internal side of the wall. So I might say, yes, I've got plasterboard pretty much everywhere, but then I've got an area of where I need tile backerboard. So I'm going to pick a tile backerboard as my alternative internal finishing. Um, and then you, you'll see the alternative internal finish tab has appeared. So these these tabs are gonna are gonna come and go based on the specification that 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 you set up. And and in a minute I'll we'll we'll get to that tab and I'll show you exactly how you exactly how you use it. Um, so below DPC there are uh, a number of of additional options which yeah weren't required because because I'm doing a raft. So decoration below, finishes below DPC, insulation, uh, and then cavity fill, any masonry below DPC, inner leaf, and then the plinth, trench blocks, and foundations. So you can uh, you can tweak and twiddle all of those to your heart's content. Um, if you if the options that we have given you aren't enough, you can also use the edit resource button. So if I, let's pick my sheet metal cladding and click edit resources. Um, so this then gives you <coughs> um, on a line by line basis. Uh, so it shows you the the sheet metal cladding allows 95 pounds per square meter that that is specified and you can come in here and you can change change that 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 to different resources so you can you can drill right the way down to a resource level as you've always been able to um but the you know our our hope is that that you won't need to come in in here too much but if you're if you're doing um Something that we that we haven't covered, um, then yeah, you've got the flexibility to go in there and, and set up your own your own options, and and set up your own your own types of wall, um, saved saved in your system. Um, I would just say if there if there is anything that you use commonly that you think we've missed, please do feed that back through this through the support team, um, because uh, yeah, you know we we can obviously add add more more options in so if there is if there is anything that, that we've missed that, that you use regularly please do let us know and and yeah maybe we we can add it and and it will be an option for everybody then okay so that's the 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 my overview of the of the different specification choices there 
Um, so <clears throat> I'll now go through the, the dimensions. So this will seem mostly familiar to you. Um, so obviously height and length of wall. Um, so I'll I'll try and point out the the new things in here. So depth of floor zone is a new uh, is a new input. So that allows you um, to if you've got if the height of your wall is including a floor zone, uh, presumably at the top. So if you've got ground floor, if you've got a if you've got a double store extension. Your ground floor walls will be up to the top of the um, top of the floor above, maybe, or maybe your upper upper floor walls are from the bottom of the floor below, or something. So you you obviously got that that area of the floor zone where you ideally don't want to plaster and paint the wall because it will be behind the floor. So that input just allows you to enter in. The, the height of your floor zone that you've got there so that it won't allow for internal finishes for that, that height. Um, and then in a similar vein, it's asking whether the internal wall leaf stops at the upper floor. So if, you're, if your floor sits on top of the internal leaf, um, then you can say yes to that. And, and again, that depth of floor zone will then be subtracted from the from the internal leaf. Um, down below here, standard questions of is it plastered, decorated, skirted? Um, but there is an option to, to allow for an area left unplastered or a length left unskirted. So if you've generally got skirting boards in, in, your, in your building, but you've got a room without them and you want to to not overprice for skirting boards, then by all means you can fill in a number to to not be be priced up there. Uh, so the next tab is the is the timber frame. So this is this is basically the inputs uh, that would have been in the in the timber frame panel estimating calculator before. Um, so I won't I won't go through all these. There you know they're all. Yeah, they're all things that you've probably seen before if you've if you've had to price for a timber frame. Um, yeah, I'll 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 leave it at that. Um, okay, so the alternative external finish. So yeah, so I've got a brick external wall, but I said I've got an area of uh, metal sheet cladding. I think I picked. So I'm going to click the button to add an area. So I could add a vertical band, uh, the height of the wall. I could add in a horizontal band, which would be the length of the wall. Um, and then I could, I could manually enter in the height. Um, but for this, I'm going to just say I've got a rectangular area. And I'm going to say it's two meters by two meters. Um, and I will say, yes, I require the alternative external leaf behind that. Um, and then, uh, so, so there, there are just some, some options on the right here for, um, for inputs pertaining to that um, alternative external finish that, to review. Um, and then the alternative internal finish similar concept uh, I'm going to add a vertical band the height of the wall so if you recall I said I've got tile backerboard so uh, maybe I've got uh, four meters a four meter long wall and I want it to be the height floor to ceiling um, uh, so that will then reduce the um, the area of standard plastering by uh, four by 2.4, and it will instead price up for tile back board for that area. Um, the openings, so because I, because I haven't added any openings in yet, nothing's in this list. Um, if you, once you've gone through and added some, some <coughs> external doors and some windows, this will start filling up to show you 
the different openings that there are within within this wall. Um, and the tick box at the top there is saying that the quote template managed the list of openings. So that's basically saying, yes, as I add them to my quote template, subtract the areas from the wall. Um, I'll just I'll just quickly show you show you manually what it would do. So yeah, is it a window, a door? Or a structural opening. What's the size of it? Um, so I'll say I've got a one square meter. What's the the height of the lintel? And then, so the only reason that you might need to override what it's doing by by default is to say where the where the opening is. So is that opening within the main wall? Is it within the gable? Uh, or is it within my alternative area so do i want to punch that one square meter hole in my brickwork or in my um cladding area so that's what that's what those options are are there for so i'll uh remove that again uh the gable so it's asking whether the gable is using that external finish so is the gable clad in our in our sheet metal and is it using the external leaf so do i need block work rather than brick work brick work for the external leaf so it's feeding through the the width of the gable the area and the the length of the top oh incidentally um yeah if if you if you click on the if you click into the input boxes then you'll see that there are these these red lines that that appear to show you show you which, which dimension it is that it's uh, that it's referring to so over here if i click on width of plaster ball then you'll see you get the it shows you the the red lines to say this is what we mean by width the plaster ball um so yeah no, nothing nothing particularly new in this um so the the if if we said that we were using a cut roof and it was a bolted ceiling then it would automatically fill in the the area for for plaster in the gable. Um, but at the bottom, this the, this bit will be new. Uh, it's just asking some questions about the um, the timber frame panel that it's going to price for for the gable. Um, onto the parapet tab. So it's feeding through that I need 7.8 meters of um, horizontal parapet, and the and that the height is half a meter, and the height of the gable parapet is half a meter, and then it'll use that uh, width of width of gable dimension that we've that we've just seen to to price up for that uh, for the gable parapet. Um, the depth of roof zone for the gable parapet. So, if you need a tech tip, by the way, hold your mouse over the the input box. So we haven't got it in the in the top right corner anymore. But if you you hold your mouse over the input box, it, it'll it'll pop up. So it's basically um, the yeah the the height of the of the roof area on a gable parapet, so that it doesn't do any any internal finishes on there. So I think we. We specified uh, that we were going to render the, the parapet. So it's although we've said we have a half meter parapet, that will be externally, which will be covering the the roof and then any any flashing that you've got. So it's just yeah, what, what what's the de deduction of the total height of your parapet that you that you need for the for the finishes? And then a, a, sim a similar similar thing. <laughs> Probably easy for you to understand rather than my rambling on the um, the horizontal parapet. So so it's basically saying, okay, so we've got the the height. So from there to there is half a meter, and then what is the height from from the from the wall plate to the to the top of the flashing? Um, so yeah, I could enter in. 400 and again it's a, it's not it's not going to make a big difference um it's just just allowing for the right amount of of internal finish between the the flashing and the on the top of the wall um 
Okay, and then on the, on the right hand side here, it's asking for, do you have any corner coping stones or pieces? So I can say I have a couple of those. Any end ones? Allowance for the coping fixing system per meter. Uh, and then the total length um, taken up by, by those special stones. So I've said I've got two corner coping stones. So it's just asking what length does that, what length should we deduct from the, from the standard coping stone so that it doesn't overprice. And then below are the, the inputs for the, for the timber frame panel for the parapet. <clears throat> and finally, um, we've got a footings tab. So again, because we picked a raft, it's a going to be a raft footing picture that you see. If we'd have picked a strip foundation, you'd see something a bit different. Um, so yeah, it's how many bricks in the splash course, brickwork below, uh, any block work, and then any coursing blocks. And then you've got the cavity fill depth and whether there's a DPC, yes or no. Okay, so I will I will click OK to that uh, and close that down. Um, so I can see a, a, a couple of people have asked about when uh, when you'll be getting this as an update. So I'll just cover that off now. So <coughs> we are we're still we're we're still going through testing of it. Um, at the moment in internally so we um yeah we're we're hopefully close but i've 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 been thinking that we're hopefully close for for several weeks it's a, it it is a it's it's a it's a big change to the software we don't want to really release it until we're till we're sure that it's working properly um and there are as you can see lots of lots of permutations and lots of different options um to be to to, to go through and and to check so we're we're using it in-house um we're we're testing it we're tweaking it and improving bits of interface and so on and with regards to when it's actually going to be out um i can tell you that it won't be this week <laughs> um it's so the our our earliest uh will be sort of middle of next week uh it may be out then um, but it, yeah, it, it really depends uh, whether we whether we find any issues during our testing that require um, reworking parts of it. So yeah, uh, earliest will be next week, uh, or potentially the potentially the, the the week after. But we'll um, we will email everybody to let you know when it is available. Um, yeah. So in in initially, when whenever whenever we release a a sort of Biggest update, a biggest change. We we will we will put it live for people that that read the uh, that read the marketing emails to say there's an update available and go to the website and download it, uh, or that or that speak speak to support, um, and then and then a a few a few weeks later it will be your software will will prompt you. So if you're e if you're eager to to get this, then uh, yeah. Just make make sure that our that the HVXL emails aren't going directly into your spam, uh, and we will we will let you know when it's when it's available for download. Okay, so um, so that's that's a a look at a two leaf external wall. Um, so a few other bits that I will that I will show you. Uh, so the floor, as I said, the the a raft is now available within a quote template, so I will select raft foundation with toe. And again, you may you may have seen this before. The the estimating calculator isn't new. Um, it's just it's just the option to have it in here that's that's new. Um, so if I just launch the Dims Wizard, it's obviously filling in the area um, and the and the length of perimeter. So this this input of length of internal downstand beam, it's currently set to zero. Maybe I shouldn't highlight that so you can see. Um, it's currently set to zero. When we go down and we fill in 
uh, lengths of internal solid partition walls, it's going to add in a length of internal downstand beam to support those walls. Um, so that will automatically be filled in. It's just that we haven't haven't added any internal walls yet. Um, and then whether it's um, whether it's float finished, uh, I believe that's that's one of the standard settings within within the quote template. So that's being filled in. Um, the the height of brickwork is being set to zero um, because that's that's being priced up within the wall. Um, yeah, and then these are being filled in the length of slab edge requiring dowel bars. And then the the number of days plant to drill the dowel bars uh, together with all of the plant on this on this final page. Again, that they are they are things that we've there are settings in the in the standard settings within within the the quote template. Let me, ju let me just quickly go into there and show you. Uh, where's the button? Here we go. So standard settings within here. Um, we have got. So I think it will come under these slabs. So we've got number of days required for bulk croppers per square meter of job. Number of days required for power floats per square meter of job. So um, yeah, there are there there are settings there that that it's then it then calculates the area of the job and it will then round up to you know to to, to the number of days of of each plant item required so they should be they should be good allowances in there you can obviously review them override them uh, as required okay so because we've got parapets, we've got this new option that's popped up of lead box gutters. So it's automatically going to be adding a, a box gutter in uh, behind each of the uh, horizontal parapets. Um, so yeah, it's 7.8 meters because we've got two walls at, at 3.9 and it's allowing for one hopper uh, for, for each side. Um, and then it's it's flashing that same length. Okay. Um, let's see. See whether there was anything else I was going to show you down here. Um, okay. Oh, yes. So one thing that it's worth mentioning for for everybody that's that's going to be upgrading. From the existing software. So in my drop down, if I just remove the filter, I don't have any of the old walls within here. So these are all the the, the new options. Within the options dialog on the jobs tab, I've got an option here that's that's new that says show legacy wall, door, and structural opening estimating calculus estimating calculators when using a quote template. So if you want to use the old ones because you're familiar with them, you can tick that. They'll be they'll, they'll then be there at the bottom of the list, I believe it will be. Um, and for any existing jobs, so anything that you've started on Estimator Express 2022 and you then upgrade they will they will still be there because obviously you'll have you'll have priced them using those those calculators so so old jobs should open up and work in just the same way that they all, all already have um but yeah by default new jobs are not going to are not going to have the old the old wall wall options in them and and also <laughs> um the so door and, and structural opening so in recent updates, we have been we've been changing the way that that doors and structural openings are priced to to again make them more more flexible. So, in the structural openings drop down here, um, <coughs> you'll see I've now only got two options, um, and it's for a, an opening to an existing wall and an opening to a new wall. So, 
as I'm, I'm, I'm sure you've seen, but when, when you go in here, you get to pick between a combination lintel, loose steel, steel and plate, um, concrete single skin lintels, steel single skin lintels, or or saying, but I don't need support, I just need an opening. Um, so yeah, that that um, we still had the the older way of doing it available to you but yeah we, i've just basically been been trying to clear that up so that uh so that there isn't confusion over well i can do it this way i can do it that way which way should i do it <laughs> so so we've just removed the 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 older options but again if you tick that tick box then then the old structural opening workbooks will appear and the old door workbooks will will, will appear um so yeah, I just wanted to to point that out to you, uh, existing users. Okay, so let's go down, and I will just show you very briefly the internal wall options. Um, so some of these maybe may may have different wall types in. I th I think than uh than previously so what have we got here so uh cavity partitions with foundations uh downstairs obviously with foundations so um by default because i've because i've picked a uh a timber frame job it's defaulting it to a twin timber frame party wall spec for this um but there are you know lots of different options so you can have internal block on icf walls block on sips block on timber frame block cavity or timber frame party walls in there um and then the without foundations options are going to be identical um so incidentally you will see well all of these descriptions it says without foundations but all of these descriptions say strip foundation raw foundation um yes the, the 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 spec names are are the same um it's if i just go load up the the dimensions wizard um so so the the wall specification would allow you to do a foundation and footing however just just like uh just just like happened in in the existing software estimate express 2022 we've just zeroed out the the foundation details and the and the footing details um so so yeah rest rest assured even even though the name doesn't make make a, a, a lot of sense in a without foundations uh drop down that is uh yeah it is it is all all correct what it's doing um so internal um solid walls i think this is pretty much as it as it as it's always been we we had the the block wall and the icf wall we've obviously just got uh some some variety in the in the specification of the walls that you pick um so if i yeah so and, and again if i if i enter a length in there for on my solid partitions without foundations it's then going to add a downstand beam to the to the um rough to support that okay so the the only other section is the internal single skin lightweight walls so what have we got here so these are insulated with foundations so we have got uh sips and timber frame walls there so insulator walls with foundations. Uh, with the insulator walls without foundations, uh, you can add to that some timber stud walls and some metal stud wall options. And then for lightweight partitions without foundations, uninsulated, so non-insulated, We've got some uh, uninsulated timber frame walls, timber stud walls. Yeah, they're the, they're the two two different wall type options. And again, various 
um, various options within the within those um, how the panels whether the panels being being supplied for timber frame whether it's an extension or a new build uh, and the and the, the the size of the wall 100 mil 150 75 mil um, so yeah various different options in that okay so I'm going to close down this job um, and I'm going to click don't save and then I'm going to say oops I wanted to keep that. Um, so previously, that's always been quite an issue if you close and don't save because um, you've lost it. Um, at the top here, we've got a new bottle, uh, a bottle, a new button that says restore files. If I click on that, phew, um, you'll see that I can actually reaccess that that file um, so I can recover it and say yes um so basically in the in the in the background estimator express is sort of un, unpacks a, a job from a from from the file that you have saved um and then when it closes down it's it's actually just uh putting them into a into a temporary folder um so which is very handy because uh People do press don't save when they meant when they meant save from time to time, and also on the odd occasion, people people have have called in that they they have issues whereby uh, a file's got got corrupt on their computer. So again, um, if you have any issues and you think you've lost ev everything, um, by a job won't open gives you an error, or I press don't save, but I wanted it. Um, that button up there, restore files, hopefully will be your savior. Um, so yeah, that's uh, hopefully that will uh, that will help help some people out. Um, the only other thing I will just show you is it's a it's a slightly different uh, slightly different way of of selecting a a wall if you're on a, a custom job template. Um, and it's also the same if you're if you're a Plant Express user. Um, yeah, it will it will operate slightly differently. But I, I won't go into the Plant Express side. I'll save save that for an, uh, for another another webinar coming soon. Um, so I will I'll just go into a renovation job, uh, and I'll just show you how that how that works. <laughs> okay so if i let's do an internal wall this time so i'll select internal walls add a new estimating calculator and let's pick a uh let's do the single leaf so yeah the 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 two new calculators if you're using a custom template it's two leaf internal wall and single leaf internal wall so they're they're the ones to look for and similarly if you're in the external walls it'll be two leaf external wall and single leaf external wall um so yeah that's that's where you'll find them okay so it pops up the the wizard and so it's a case of what type of wall do you want i want a sips wall and then you've got options and you've got, got some filters on the top so um i could say i'm doing an extension or a renovation i yes i want a garage wall or no i don't want a garage wall so let's pick a garage wall with a with a strip foundation so yeah, they just help you filter down to the right to the right one. Um, then you get to pick dimensional templates. So we we've divided these up into into two now. Um, so this is yeah, this is different um, to how any of the existing calculators work. Um, so 
so so that we could give options different options for um for the foundations we've separated out we've got a dimensional template for the foundations and footings and one for the one for the sort of above the epc part of the wall so i'm going to pick a a ground floor 2.4 high single story wall and then i could pick i want a trench fill foundation um so select that and it will put those two together um so let me just uh again i'll i'll just briefly briefly show you what it's doing so we've got a yeah so we've got an internal sips panel as our structural leaf and then it's it's uh plastered and decorated just on one side of the wall so you'll see internal finishes to side two um if we were to have a parapet on our internal wall it would be rendering it on both sides and it would be putting a timber frame timber frame panel up above our building with an aluminium parapet coping uh, and then we've got skirting boards to our to, to the one side of the wall and then below tpc we've got a 100 mil dense block and a, and a strip foundation so with a garage internal wall, so it's assuming that one side of the wall is going to be a garage, the other side is going to be the inside of your house, which is why it's plastering and decorating and skirting one side only. Um, if I tick the show not required, then as before, lots of other options pop up. So we can obviously decorate, finish, insulate, and put parge coats onto either side of the wall. So yeah there's an in, internal insulation there is internal parge coat um so yeah we've got all those options for side one structural leaf we've seen side two uh parapet decoration we've covered before and then the the alternative areas that i showed you for the external wall so they're available here as well so we've got alternative internal finishes to side one and internal decoration to side one and then to the other side so um yeah <laughs> hopefully it's not going to be too often that you need a alternative internal finish on both sides but uh, if you do there are options to do that um the the dimensions yeah pretty pretty similar to, to what we've seen before so the no, normally for an internal wall you'd have all these questions so the, these are all questions about side two is main wall plastered to side two area left unplastered uh, and then for a normal internal wall you'd have all the same questions on the left hand side about side one so I, I guess one one piece of advice is make sure that you set up your specification first before you start entering your dimensions because you may have more tabs appearing based on what you what you set in your specification you may have more individual questions appearing based on what you set in your specification so for example if i go back and let's say i'm going to plaster uh plaster the inside of that wall so if i now go back you'll see i've got i've got more questions um the my yes no of plastering an area left unplastered so if i then go back and say oh i want to decorate that side i'll start up be asked about that that yes no question and then if if i put skirting boards on then those will appear so yeah it's important that you get your specification sorted first then work your way through the dimensions um so that you're seeing all of the all of the all the questions that it needs to ask pertaining to that specification of wall that you've selected. So it shouldn't, it shouldn't be asking you anything that it doesn't need for the type of wall that you're expressly um, building. So on the SIP panel, um, yeah, it's the allowances for the, for the SIP panel for the fixings and for the gang to fit it. And then uh, time allowances for plant. Ooh, one one thing that is new if i hold my mouse over the question mark it will tell me that it's that my crane in days is actually a 25 ton mobile telecrane and driver eight hour day at 350 pounds per day 
so so yeah where 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 it's got you know you'll you'll have various inputs that how long do you want for plant item one plant item two plant item three um so you can uh you can hold your mouse over the question mark and actually see whether that has been specified uh and if so what 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 it is that's been specified so it'll it'll help clear up uh the confusion as to how to answer those questions um openings the same gables um if it's not a quote template you've got a drop down for the gable so so you can basically pick pick the shape of gable you need so is it a full gable is it a full gable with a barn hip is it a half gable so just a gable for a lean to uh is it a lean to with a with a barn hip uh and then the other option is just irregular shaped where you have to enter you know width area length 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 of top so so yeah you pick pick the uh Pick the shape of gable you need and then enter the dimensions in for that. Um, yep. Yeah. Parapet's gonna be the same, the same as we saw for the external, and then so foundations, I don't 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 think we looked looked at that before. Um, so it's fairly similar to what you've seen already, but there are options here for is reinforcement required to the foundation and is he protection board required to the foundations? I don't think that that's, that that's there in Estimating Express 2022. So I, yeah, I believe that they're new options um, that we've added for you. And then the footings, not a lot to see there. Um, uh, yeah, other than a uh, there, there's a there's a there's a new note that that, that basically uh, is saying based on the current dimensions the height of DPC is 175 mil above the site strip level. So it, it's basically just combining together the the dimensions of the uh, of the foundation. So depth of excavation, amount of concrete, uh, height height of block work to DPC, and just so it, it's just 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 to help you. Uh, work out have I have I set things up right? Is my DPC actually above the ground? Um, so yeah, that's that's uh, that's what that is. Um, okay, I think I think that's probably everything that I intended to show you. Apologies for going eight minutes over my hour. Um, so yeah, if the, if you have any you have any questions then please do um send them in send them in to me now and i'm, I'm happy to, to to hang around and and answer a few questions if you have them um or not if you don't <laughs> um so let, let's see uh oh yeah somebody's asked whether there'll be a recording of tonight so yes if you've if you've enjoyed listening to me so much that you'd like to watch me again um, we will indeed be. We ha it has been being been recorded, and we will email that out to everybody. Um, so yeah, if you if you missed any any of it, um, or if yeah, I mean there 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 is a there is a lot to uh, a lot to take in. So yeah, we we will be sending out sending out recording so you can uh, um yeah watch anything back. Okay, well if the uh, um, ah, okay. So some, somebody's just just sent in a question asking whether Plans Express will incorporate the changes. Uh, yes, it will. Yes, we we will be will be releasing a new version of all of all all of our software will be the the 2023 versions. But the main changes are Estimate Express and Plans Express. So yes, Plans Express will be. Um, will be up, up updated to use these new um, these new wall calculators, uh, and I believe I, if you haven't been emailed yet, you'll be emailed soon that I'll I'll be doing a similar webinar in in I, I'm I'm not sure two or three weeks I believe um, will be the the Plans Express webinar. So um, yeah, within Plans Express, we've we've got the new walls and uh and parapets are are drawing 
and being estimated for in the in the in the three D. So yeah, I'll that there'll be a separate webinar to uh, to show you that and show you how to how to how to draw draw a, a, a roof with parapets and and yeah, talk, talking through these these same features, but from the from the Plans Express side. Um, okay, so if I uh, let me just go back to the dashboard. Um, so somebody's just asked about the the client hit rate. Uh, so so presumably the, the this John job win rate, ugh, job win rate, um, and how how that's how that's calculated. So the so this is done based on the um, if I just go into my list of jobs. Um, you can see we've got an estimate, uh, a status column, and it says estimate in progress for pretty much all the mine. Um, so if I if I select one and click on the edit button, I can change the job status to awaiting customer reply due to start, build in progress, completed or unsuccessful quote. So the 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 percentage of win and lost jobs are calculated based on these numbers. So if it's a due to start, build in progress or completed, that would mean you've won the job. If it's an unsuccessful quote, that would mean you've lost the job. And anything before that, estimate in progress and awaiting customer reply uh, will not be included into the numbers. So um if you have um if you don't yeah so if you change the status of a job that will that will affect those so if you if you have um more, more yeah if the if the numbers don't 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 match what you think go to that go to that jobs panel and and you can change the status of jobs to um to yeah get those get those updated okay ah oh, um one other one other question i've spotted that i missed from earlier uh and with the new walls uh will that other other garden walls updated um no i'm afraid that the garden we don't have a new universal garden wall in there um so yeah, there there are a few walls that that uh, that aren't covered with the with the, with the new wall calculators, uh, garden walls and um, uh, sleeper walls are still the the older estimating calculators. Um, so yeah, it's it's only yeah it's it's only the sort of main walls for a building and and that 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 we've done and garden walls operating a little bit differently yeah we we we've left those out from from this uh this new one oh yes and and uh thank you for the for the reminder retaining walls as well uh all the retaining walls are the are the older estimating calculators still um so yeah we haven't produced a um a more flexible retaining wall calculator at this stage okay uh i will i will leave you there and let you let you get back to your evenings uh thank you very much for your time um i hope you enjoy i hope you're excited by the changes that i've shown you i hope hope that's gonna that's gonna make make your life easier using the software um it's certainly been a a very very hard and long slog getting them uh, get, getting getting them out i'm sure i'm sure i'm sure you've been been wondering why there haven't been any updates for for such a long time um and it's and it's pretty much because we've been working on something that's that's taken yeah that's been an awful lot of work um to do so yeah we're we're excited to finally get it out um we're excited to hear what you think of it when it is out when you've got it 
Um, and yes, watch this space possibly next week. Um, more likely the week after, but we'll see as to as to how the how how our final testing goes. Um, if you are if you are ultra eager to to, to get it, um, then we we have given it to a few people as a as a pre-release. So you could speak to speak to Joe um, on on support. Um, and uh, yeah, if you it it is available as a through 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 Joe, just with the proviso of we're still going through testing. If you're going to use it on real jobs, you really need to test the output well. Um, so before you before you send it off. Um, but yes, hope hopefully it will be it will be on general availability uh, in the next week or two. Okay, so good night everybody. Take care.